All right, grade six, so we're gonna continue on with pictographs and pie graphs. These are also discrete data graphs, so if you wanna put at the top somewhere, just in a note, that these are also discrete data, which is counted. Okay, so right to remember, always think about the type of information that you're displaying, and then it'll help you pick the graph or identify the graph, or identify what type of data you're using. So pictographs are graphs that use symbols to represent data sets and numerical information. Each picture represents a certain number of things. Many people think that pictographs make information much easier to read. The disadvantage of pictographs is that it can only communicate small amounts of very specific information. So for example, the pictograph shows a number of varieties of apples stored at a supermarket. So here's your title, apples in a food store, and here are the different types. And then here's the key. So this is your key here for um, what each picture means. So a full apple that's colored in is 10 apples and a half, an apple cut in half, is five apples. So this one is pretty easy. We can use the pictograph to find the total number of apples stored at the supermarket. So you count them all. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So there's 150 apples in the supermarket. And for this type of graph, you can also make conclusions. So whenever we look at a graph, always plan to make some conclusions. And I look for at least two, usually. Um, so from this graph, we can say that um, McIntosh uh, has the least. Um, and we can say that uh, Red Rome has the most. Okay, you can also look at specific types. So you could say that uh, Golden Delicious and Macintosh, the least popular types of apples, have a total of 45 apples in store. Okay, so those are the conclusions we make. So we're going to turn the page over and we're going to go on to pictographs. Oh, sorry, not pictographs, pie graphs. Now, pie graphs, uh, they're the ones that look like pizzas. <laughs> They're fun, they're a little harder to draw, so you're gonna need a ruler for this one. Um, I'm gonna use a protractor as well. I don't expect you guys to use your protractors and get them exactly the same. Just do your best to make them look similar to mine. So, picture, or a pie graph, sorry, is a pie chart is usually a circular chart divided into sectors or slices. Each sector shows the relative size, percentage represented of each value. So, percentage, remember we did percent last time and that means out of 100, so all the values or all the data you collect, you have to turn that into a percent. So you can use a calculator for that. You're allowed to use calculators this unit if you need. Okay. So in this one, uh, a questionnaire was sent out asking for the favorite type of movie. Okay. I can already see a mistake in my questionnaire. I should have included other as an option. So I'm going to do that now. And we're going to come up with a data set. So same thing. Usually if we were in class together, I would ask you these questions and we'd come up with our 6H information. So I'm just going to plop it into the chart. So romance, romance or drama, I'm going to say that four of you said you like romance or drama. I'm going to say that two said action. I'm going to say that in children's uh, we had three comedy, we had nine, sci-fi fantasy, let's say we had two, uh, and then, so let's see how many students do I have all together, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 13, 18, 20, so let's do five just to make it nice and easy for us. That said they like uh, movies in other categories. So I'm gonna add other down here. So we need to make all of these into fractions first. So in total there are 25 students. Okay, 
So we're going to make a percent. So we know that there are 4 out of 25. And remember, you have to either make an equivalent fraction, so I know I can multiply both of these by 4 to get my percentage. Okay, or the other way, if you have a calculator, remember, it's pretty simple to do uh, percentages on a calculator. So what you're going to look at doing, so let's say, okay, so comedy is next. So we have 9 out of 25. So on your calculator, you're going to press 9 divided by 25. It's going to give you a decimal. And if you want to change that to a percentage, times it by 100, and you'll get your percentage. Okay, so that's 36%. Okay, sci-fi, there were 2 out of 25. 2 out of 25, so that's 8%. Okay, action also had 2, so I can just look back to my other one and know that it's 8%. Children's had 3, okay, so same thing, 3 divided by 25 is equal to that, times it by 100, and we get 12%. And in the other category, we had 5 out of 25, okay, so that should be 20%. Okay, awesome, so the next thing we have to do is we have to put our information on the pie chart. So this is going to be 6H preferred. Uh, movie genres. Okay, that's our title. For my own information, I need to know that in a circle there are 360 degrees. Okay, that's one full circle, so and that will equal 100%. So in order to figure out what part of the circle I need for each of these, I need to know that 3.6 degrees is going to equal 1%. So I'm going to use my calculator to help me figure out how how much of each or how much of the circle each category needs. All right. So we're going to draw this this pie chart. So we're, I'm going to start by putting a dot pretty close to the middle of my circle or as close as I can, and that's going to be where I measure from. Okay. So let's start with We'll just start with romance and drama. So I need 16% of my circle to be to be for romance and drama. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to start here. I'm going to put a mark out here at this corner because that's my zero line. And we're going to go through this actually in our next unit. You guys are going to get to use protractors. Okay. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my percentage. I'm going to know that I have 16% and I need 3.6. So I need 57 and a half degrees to equal my 16% of the chart. So 50, 55, 56, 57, so some are kind of right there. So now I'm going to draw my lines. I need my ruler or a straight edge. And I stole my son's ruler for this lesson, so I hope you like the skulls. <laughs> And so, like I said for you guys, you don't need to make this exactly right, because I haven't shown you how to use a protractor yet. So you can just make a piece of the pie that looks similar to this, and make sure you label it. So this is uh, romance or drama, and you're going to write 16%. And we're going to give it, uh, make it colorful, so you can uh, color the, the whole piece in. I don't want to color it all in because I don't want to waste all my markers. Um, so I'm just going to give it a symbol. I'm going to draw little pink hearts to show that this is the romance and drama section. Okay. Awesome. So the next part we're going to go through is comedy, and comedy is 36%. So I need 129 degrees, that's a big piece of the pie. Alright, 
So I'm going to go all the way from zero all the way over here. Whoops, I lost my line. To 120, and here's 130, so one less than that. So there's 129. And same thing, I'm going to grab my ruler. I'm just going to turn the paper for now. And I'm going to color or draw my line. Oops, went a little too far. And now I'm going to label that section of the pie chart. Okay, and that was comedy. And comedy was 36%. Okay, so for comedy, I'm going to put, uh, let's do smiley faces. I'm going to do purple smiley faces. of our chart is going to be sci-fi fantasy and I had 8% so I need about 28 degrees for this one and I'm going to do two because we've got two exactly the same sorry I think I said 28% so I should have said 28 degrees so that's my first one that's my ruler Exactly the same, or as close to as I can. Okay, and now I can label my my pieces of the pie. So this one was sci-fi or fantasy, and it was eight percent. And this one was action. And it was also 8%. Okay. So same thing, I'm going to give it some decoration of some kind. Sci-fi fantasy makes me think of Harry Potter, so I'm going to give this one some lightning bolts. Okay. And action. I'm running out of creative ideas, so I'm going to give it uh, some green swirls. move on and we'll do the last two sections of our chart. So we've got um, other, oops, actually children's first, so 12%. So I need 43 degrees for my children's movie lovers and I'm one of those as well. We just finished watching Onward. It was a great show, a lot sadder than I thought, but it was still awesome. So I need 43 degrees out there. So this one is going to be children's. And the last one is other. And children's was 12%. And other was 20%. Okay, so now we just have to give them a little bit of decoration. So children's, let's see, we'll use orange. And maybe just do some scribbles. And other, I'm going to do blue question marks. Okay, awesome. So same thing for this graph, you guys. We can uh, make some conclusions based on what we see. This black pen is running out. Let's use blue. So same thing, I can see that comedy was most popular. Pretty obvious that uh, it takes up the biggest chunk of the pie. And we can say sci-fi and fantasy and action uh, were tied and had the least.
Now, same thing, go ahead and challenge yourself. Make one more conclusion on your own. And I'm going to stop there for pie graphs. So the next type of graph we're going to look at is line graphs.